This is about seven kilos of Harbahe honey um, of last year and this year. And we're going to take it to a Tickety Brewery in Stonybridge and I'm going to convert it into honey beer. Let's see uh, how the journey begins here. <laughs> Putting 800, 800 grams in. Okay. So half and half. It says 435 pieces. Okay. You get the things with faulty, so we're starting off and starting off a bit. Getting it. <laughs> Putting it in this box. You don't want it for too long because if we put it for too long, you're going to boil up all the aroma. Yeah. Yeah. Is a, is a, is a check box. Right. So, okay. We don't have an awful lot of um, no. English and our guitar because we've yeah. got two lot of Belgian beers. We have yeah. got one, but it's more sort of black currency. Yeah. Sort of a room for the room mm -hmm. So I think this one, if you think it'd be typical, I think the best German lager you've yeah. drank, it's probably got. Uh, oh, oh, it's yeah. <laughs> German might have the Hallow Tower set hanging in it. So, uh, yeah, a nice bohemian pilsner. Right, uh, okay. With that sweet honey flavour. Yeah, yeah. Comes from this, so just trying to find as many things to sort of complement, slash, yeah. give right. support to the Synergize, honey. Synergise, I think, might be the modern oh, word. Sorry? Synergise, I think, might Synergize. be. Synergise. That might be the modern. Dry hop with it. Dry yeah. hop is dry hop when you're putting it in the beer once it's fermented and yeah. sitting in a tank for a few weeks. It's probably safer this way from here. Yeah. 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 At this point, we, we think, Paul, I can't remember what's the suggested amount of alcohol to put in a beer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it like, only had a slight amount? <laughs> I've never one bin bag full. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Oh, I, I'm delighted with it, yeah. I think, in my head, I think two kilos was sort of my... Because you've got to remember that when you've got 800 grams of hops in it, it's 800 grams of a dry hops. It's probably a few kilos yeah. of, of wet. Very, very nicely. Yeah. No problem with viscosity there. Yeah. We'll get the rest of that back in a minute. We'll see. Let's see if we've got the same look on this one. I know you just bury your face in it. Yeah. Yeah, oh no, easy. Oh, lovely, lovely job. That is. That smells of elderflower, actually. And honey. Yes, it does. Oh, that's warm honey. That's uh... What's that called? Um, well, no, I, didn't get, I think I'm getting elderflower off the way already, to be honest, but there's an awful lot of honey, so it's sort of overpowering a little bit. But...
beer's being pumped from the hot, from the boiling, well, near boiling mm -hmm. tank here, through up a hop filter just to filter any hops. Mm -hmm. You can see it comes through here. You can regulate the sort of flow that that's going through to regulate the temperature. Yeah. This is a hot, this is a heat exchanger. Right. Pump cold water through this way, hot beer through this way, cold beer comes out here. Hot water comes out here, back yeah. along there, back into the hot liquor tank, right. ready for Wednesday's brew. Okay. Um, so we're just going to check the um, temperatures all right on here, so we're not putting the beer through too hot or too cold. Um, too hot, you're going to kill the yeast. Too yeah. cold, make it dormant. Yeah. Okay. So it looks to be okay. It's about 20 degrees. Likes to eat glucose before maltose. Right. So it'll prime. So basically, if there's plenty of glucose kicking about, yeah. it'll yeah. just go. I'm gonna eat this. Yeah. Rather than the maltose from the, the bar. Yeah, yeah. The same with candy sugar. Yeah. Something right down there. Yeah. Target. This beer ferments, yeast active, yeah. regenerates, yeah. Uh, propagates, whatever you want to, mm -hmm. flocculates, mm -hmm. rises on the small carbon dioxide bubbles because yeah. it gives off alcohol yeah. and carbon dioxide among, amongst yeah. other things, but that yeah. they may supply. Yeah. As it's given off the CO2, it, it sticks to the bubbles and they rise to the top and they'll sit on the top of yeah. beer so they're more flocculative, flocculant yeah. the yeast yeah. and all travel to the top. Let's take it off the top. And then the next batch of it. So it goes on. We, we, we regenerate. We, 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 we get a new batch about every 12 to 15 generations. Mm -hmm. This is on about generation yeah. one, so we get a new one next week. Mm -hmm. um, it'll take approximately, well, for complete fermentation, for us to be satisfied, but probably nine to mm -hmm. ten days. Okay. Uh, and then we'll put the majority of it into casks and we'll bottle a bit of it. Uh, and then it will have to leave it in the casks and bottles for a further, well, casks, three to four days, bottles, ten days, and then we're ready for drinking. So what, 20 days, about three weeks time, we'll be ready to go.